in this video we're going to be discussing the domestic violence here are a few things you need to know about domestic violence one the origin of domestic violence two sometimes women contribute to their own abuse three dangers and signs of an abuser four how to seek help what causes the abuser of domestic violence to become known is that the majority of people who abuse their partners grow up to experience physical and mental violence as a way of expressing anger, rage, or self-perceived concern for that individual. And these are the following ways it can be reinforced. Disagreement with a partner, a protracted period of unemployment, financial issues, it could be anything. When that person has problems, even with outsiders, he brings the anger home. And when the wife opens her mouth as a concerned person or wife to find out what is happening, the next thing she receives is slap. And if care is not taken, it can escalate from there. These people, violence was modeled to them as children. So in most cases, it becomes a norm. They don't know how to deviate or walk away from that norm, except if that kind of person seeks help on his own before he starts any relationship. And my advice to people who fall into this category is that if any of your parents abuses uh, the other, and you feel it has affected you psychologically before you start any serious relationship it is very important that you seek help from either your spiritual head psychologist or any marriage counselor that can guide you through the sensitization process to help you get better as an individual before you start any relationship point number two Women have overrated the word domestic violence in the society, especially with the rising of awareness that instead of you to die in abusive marriage, it's better you leave the marriage and stay alive for yourself and your kids. Yes, it is true. Nobody wants to die in an abusive relationship or a domestic violent inclined relationship but then as a woman have you really sat down to consider or to think if you have contributed to this abuse in any way because sometimes we women push the men especially the good behaved men who were not raised in environments where domestic violence is a norm those innocent ones can be pushed by their wives the way a manner we push this man is through the use of words sometimes we are very harsh with our tongues i know that we are gifted with too much words we speak more than the men but that doesn't mean that you should be using your mouth against your own husband yes sometimes they might do something to hurt you instead of you to insult and make them feel belittled and demean their personality and their whole existence is better for you to devise a means of communicating your disagreement your anger dissatisfaction to the man so it is better for us to start learning how to speak well kind words to the men let us not push them because sometimes you will see a man arguing with his wife before you know it if it is a problem that had to do with business or family company you hear a woman telling the man that he is as useless as nothing you cannot i can't even trust you to run any business for the family you are highly incompetent you are useless you don't know anything i don't even know who raised you you are you are worthless you can't do anything i shouldn't have allowed you to uh, be the head of this company you will hear women bring the men down to a very large extent, these men are helpless. They are helpless. They might not tell you how much you make them bleed whenever you demean them, whenever you castigate them, whenever you make them feel less a man, whenever you make them feel worthless. 
they are bleeding in their heart you are abusing them emotionally you are abusing them psychologically and mentally and because they are so they are egocentric they are protecting their pride these men cannot go out there and say my wife is my treating me she is treating me this way in fact some of the women actually beat their men too but their men cannot talk in public because if they open their mouth to talk ah, ah, are you not the man of the house you are in charge of the house why will you allow a woman to be treating you this way you should take charge so because they don't want to be seen as weaklings in the society they will rather package themselves and continue bleeding in the heart until the day they cannot take it some women will go to an extent of locking the door against the man you are not going out today even when the man have decided that this argument is going towards a direction he doesn't want and he does not want to hit the wife you will see women block the door you will kill me today i cannot allow you to go out useless man what less man you will kill me unfortunately for you you sorted to be killed and our bones are not the same one slap like this your face is swollen so let us learn to control our mouth another way a woman contributes to her own abuse is sexual starvation and we use spirituality a lot in denying them of sexual activities we will tell them that we are fasting there is nothing wrong with you fasting and praying you know especially when a general overseer of a church declares it i do fast too but when my husband is not in agreement with it i don't i give in i give in because you have to consider the bible said that you should submit unto your mind in all things and this is one of it and that is why we say please know the kind of man you are submitting to so that life will be easy for you at the end of the day so if you abuse him sexually and he goes out to go and get it somewhere you will still come and fight him and insult him so please women in any way you are contributing to this man misbehavior cut it down examine yourself and ensure that you are not the one contributing to it if you have examined yourself and found out that you are not so contributor to your abuse then the next thing you need to do is to get help the next on the list is danger signs of an abusive person number one where did this person grow up the environment this person grew up is very very important sometimes the family history is see from family that respect marriage and their women these are the first thing you should find out about any man that is coming into your life try to know his family try to go close to their, his family and understand the way things run there if he is from a family where women do not have say if he is from a family where a little boy of uh, 10 years or 15 years can slap an elder brother's wife you should run for your life drug abuse too is a danger sign if he abuses anything at all drugs alcohol or whatever there is every tendency that he might lose his, his senses from time to time and mistreat you and when he is back to his senses you see that person begging you for forgiveness so try to find out the history of that person's environment then the next is a financial history is this man financially stable i'm not telling you to go and look for a millionaire before you settle down i didn't do so but you should at least get someone whose income is at least very stable if his salary is twenty thousand naira per month fifty thousand per month hundred thousand or thereabouts you should know how much you are bringing to the table and know if you people can be able to start family together if you know that he's not stable enough to marry you if his income is not stable today he is looking for a place of load goods tomorrow he is doing some things that are not defined it can be a danger sign because whenever those work did not come around he will not have anything to give you and if you open your mouth to say that there is no food because you did not bring money it can be a problem and that is why it is equally very good for a woman to be working before she gets married so that when the man is having financial issues along the line sometimes this person might be stable financially but life happens some people get laid off some people lose their jobs some people have accidents and lose their job because they can't function in some certain ways if you as an individual is financially stable you can step in 
to be to, to help for uh, cater for the family why the man try to go back to his feet a partner who close mark you at all time a partner who want to be your escort at every given time a partner that want to monitor you wherever you go who you are with what you are doing is not a healthy person that person is obsessed with you and when someone has become obsessed about your matter it means it is not healthy that person is not secure somehow somehow the person is insecure about something or trust issue when stuff like that happen you see somebody shooting you or kicking you just for not understanding where you went to you did not tell him where you went to. even when your journey or movement is genuine they don't want to know they want to be carried along at all times and when you mistakenly didn't carry them along it becomes a problem and the way they close mark you now you are there have you gotten there yes who and who are there okay can i speak to them when a partner is behaving like this it's a very serious danger sign if you are not married yet avoid that relationship then another thing is someone that uh, every little thing he wants to raise his hand uh, if the hand did not land on you and it end up hitting the wall or something in there was breaking things once you get him angry my dear avoid that kind of person because it is a very serious danger sign if you eventually get married to this person when he gets angry he will land on you someone who does not have head figure some people do not listen to anyone including their fathers their pastors they don't have an authority they obey or respect every man in life needs a head figure someone that when something is going wrong with him you can call this person and say sir this is the situation at home and once that person calls him to tell him calm down i'm coming over come over to discuss with me you will see the person responding well once that person does not have a head figure you should avoid them because that kind of person can be so grandiose kill they, they are the demigods in your life and they are very dangerous to be with and it is equally important to marry a god-fearing person someone that fear and respect god we love you unconditionally yes the fact that that person loves you unconditionally doesn't mean that you will not have argument from time to time that is why we are human but god fearing truly not just church goer there are people that are workers performing in different departments in the church but their history is nothing to write home about i'm not talking about those kind of people i'm talking about people that respect god for god people that have self-love that love themselves to a very large extent will not hit their wife because if they love themselves they will love you as themselves and they will not hit you because they cannot hit themselves so marry a god fairy man don't marry a man that do not have regard for things of god or to the word of god the next on our list is seeking help whether you are the cause of this abuse or not the moment it happens the moment you get beaten for the first time leave the environment to a safe place and get help from there where do you get help from number one human rights resources facilities number two spiritual leaders if your spiritual leader is telling you to go back and endure seek for help elsewhere go to any teaching hospital in your state and look for psychologists next look for relationship coach that will advise you all right i am here to teach on domestic violence because i care about myself my daughters and my fellow women and please do not take anything i have said here personal but rather take it as a lesson if there is a way you know you have contributed to your husband's misbehavior please avoid them and strive for peace and better family relationship that will help your children to go as sound and self-reliant adults if that will eventually become successful husband and wife
If you are coming across this channel for the first time, I am Coach Zara. I teach women how to do marriage based on God's standard and perspective. If you enjoyed my teaching in this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel.